Let's solve problem number two of USAMO, United States of America, Mathematical Olympiad. It's for the year 2023. It's function problem. Uh, I released a video related to functions. I that we have around 15 important formulas, ideas in functions, replacement, consider a small example is f1 to 1. You should know those 15 ideas. Uh, in any problem, we can use IMO problems, USAMO, AME, AMC. So let's see what can we do here. It says let uh, R plus positive real numbers be the set of positive real numbers here. Find all functions, f from positive real numbers to positive real numbers such that for all x, y in positive real numbers, f of x, y plus f of x equal to x, f of y plus 2. Okay. Here, we like to replace x or y or both of them with 0, but we cannot. Why? Because we can only use r plus positive real numbers. So, let's start with x equal y equal to 0. Uh -huh, sorry, equal to 1, for example. If you replace, we can, mm, let's consider, if you can't use 0, 1 is good. So, it will be f of 1 plus f of 1 equal to f of 1 plus 2. We reach this. Now, let's only replace x with 1. It will be f of y plus f of 1 equal to f of y plus 2. Now, let's replace y with 1. Then it will be f of x plus f of x equal to y is 1, x f of 1 plus 2. Okay, we've considered different cases. Mm, these two things are good. Here I can replace, because it is correct for all y, I can write it as f of x plus f of 1 equal to f of x plus 2. Now... Uh, we don't know f of 1 is what. From this part also, we can't understand. So when you have, for example, you can write many things in terms of f of 1. And also, if we had real numbers to real numbers and we could write in terms of f of 0, we can consider f of 0 is a constant c. Okay? Here, I define f of 1 equal to c, a constant c. And now I want to rewrite these two equations. The first one is this one, I mean. f of x plus c is f of x plus 2, and here, f of x plus f of x equal to x c plus 2, okay? Now I want to write, a uh, because x plus c, this one, I want to write an equation that combines these two things. How? I say, okay, let's consider, for example, x plus f of x plus c. If we have this, let me consider this is first equation, second equation. If we use first equation here, then we can say what? It is this part, this part plus c. So in first equation, x something plus c is what? f of that thing plus 2. So f of this thing, f of x plus f of x plus 2. And f of f of x, f of x plus f of x, we can use this. Second equation. It will be what? It will be xc plus 2 plus 2. So it's good. We found xc plus 4. And now let's pay attention uh, to the main equation here. f of xy plus f of x equal xf of y plus 2. Let's copy and paste it here. I want to pay attention to, let me write with other colors. Pay attention to this part and this part. Mm, I say, okay, f of x, f of x, x plus c, x plus c, I want to be equal to x, y. So if x plus c equal to x, y, so it means that if you divide by x, it will be 1 plus c over x equal to y. So if I replace x and y with this, so f of x, y will be x plus c plus f of x, so main equation, we call main equation star, and we call this equation 3. And let's move it, because we want to count it in two ways. If we use the star, it will be what? x, 
y is what? 1 over plus c over x plus 2. And here, if we apply third equation we've reached, it is xc plus 4. And that's good because we found f of something equal to this. Okay. Now, let's rewrite it. f of x, f of 1 plus c over x plus 2 equal to xc plus 4. At first, we subtract both sides by 2. So, x f of 1 plus c over x equal to xc plus 2. And in next step, I divide both sides by x. And we can divide because the problem says x and y are positive real numbers. It is not 0. It will be c plus 2 over x. Now, here I say, okay, if we want we want to find f of x is what? I say, suppose we know y is 1 plus c over x. So, f of y equal to c plus 2 over x. x is what in terms of y from this equation? Look, we know 1 plus c over x is what is y. So I want to find x in terms of y because I want to replace here. Uh, or I want to find 2 over x. So c over x is y minus 1 if we subtract by 2. If we divide by c, 1 over x is y over c minus 1 over c. Okay, now we multiply by 2, 2 times y over c minus 1 over c. Okay, so... Okay, so we found this, and I can replace x with y. It's, both of them are okay. I say f of x equal to c plus 2x over c minus 2 over c. Okay, so c plus 2x over c minus 2 over c. Now I want to use it, I and I want to replace uh, with in main equation. So let's consider this. Okay, let's replace this part. I want to see C should be what? Do we have any answer? So, at first I replace here. F of x, y plus f of x is C plus. Let's, let's consider constant term first. C minus 2 over C plus 2x over C. So, I write C minus 2 over C plus 2x over C. Equal to x. Again, f of y is what? Is c minus 2 over c plus 2y over c plus 2. And next step, I want to find f of this step. You write again c minus 2c plus 2 times this part over c. So it will be c minus 2c plus 2 times this part, 2 times xy plus c minus 2 over c plus 2x over c over what? over c, I replace this one, equal to x, c minus 2 over c plus 2y over c plus 2. Okay, now it's good because we don't have f. Now in next step, if we consider we should multiply by c and again c because we have two c's here, so let's multiply by c squared. The first one will be c cubed, the next one will be negative 2c squared. This one, we have c here, so when you multiply 1c, it will be cancelled. It will be 2xyc, because we multiply by c squared. This one, c over c is 1, so it will be 2c squared. This one, c, c, 1 over negative 2 over c squared, c squared will be cancelled. It will be negative 2 times 2, negative 4. Again, c squared will be cancelled. 2 times 2x, 4x. Now, if you multiply by c squared, it will be c cubed x. We multiply by c squared minus 2cx. We multiply by c squared 2xyc plus 2c squared. Okay? Okay, let's cancel the things that we have on both sides. 2xyc, 2xyc. Uh, negative 2cx. We don't have 2c squared on. 2c squared, 2c squared, we can cancel. Now. Here, let's rewrite the things that are left. It's c cubed minus 2c squared minus 4 plus 4x equal to c cubed x minus 2cx. So as you can see, this term, these terms are good related to each other. 
and 2c c minus x oh, and sorry because we have negative 2 over c here we should write negative 2c okay we have this term we have this term and okay so here if we take and these two right sides c cubed x minus c cubed then plus these two terms are similar you can factor from negative 2 you can say negative 2 cx let's write like this plus negative 2 cx minus 2 c if you take it to right side will be okay we write negative 2 cx and we take it to right side negative 2 c will be 2 c Plus, we take this to right side, it will be 4 minus 4x equal to 0. Okay, so here we reach. Okay. Now we consider c cubed here, x minus y. We factor here from negative 2c, it will be x again minus 1. And we factor from negative 4. Let's write negative 4, x minus 1. And then here we factor from x minus 1, we write it as c cubed minus 2c minus 4 equal to 4. We know it is correct for all x's that are positive real numbers. For example, you can consider x equal to 2 or anything. This part is not 0. So we conclude c cubed minus 2c minus 4 equal to 0. We want to find all answers for c that are positive real numbers because f of 1 is c and c should belongs to by assumption of the problem to positive real numbers here because the degree is 3 i told in my previous videos one important thing is to find at least one root if you check c1 1, 1 minus 2 minus 4 is not 0 if you check c2 it will be 2 cubed 8 minus 4 minus 4 0 so because c2 works we can factorize and one factor is c minus 2 and then we place c squared into c cubed minus 2c squared plus 2c, 2c squared. Then plus 1, let's see, because we have negative 4c, we should add 2 plus 2c minus 2c minus 4 equal to 0. So this part is 0 or this part is 0. If this part is 0, then c equal to 2. One answer is this. If this part is 0, it's not possible because look c squared plus 2c plus 1, we can write it as c plus 1 squared plus 1 equal to 0. Because we know that famous identity that a plus b whole squared is a squared plus b squared plus 2ab. So c squared plus 2c plus 1 is c plus 1 whole squared plus 1. And we know this part is at least 0, so this part is positive, is at least 1. And that's a contradiction. Or you can also use quadratic formula. You can say delta or discriminant here is negative. We don't have any real solution. So C is 2. Now, if we replace C with 2, it works. So F of x, C is 2. 2 minus 2 over 2 plus 2x over 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2x over 2 is x, x plus 1. So f of x equal to x plus 1 for all x. In positive real numbers, we proved f of x equal to x plus 1. And because we replace here, we don't need to replace it anymore. But always one thing, because maybe we have careless mistake, maybe we have careless mistake. At the end, also check it again. Uh, I say f of x is x plus 1. Now, this word is xy plus x plus 1 plus 1. I want to see, is it equal to x times y plus 1 plus 2? Then, right side is xy plus x plus 2. We can cancel xy, we can cancel x, and 2 equal to 2, and we see it works. So, our solution for this problem is this. Let me write some important rules in functions. You should consider special cases. Special cases means, for example, x equal to y, x equal to negative y, and so on. Consider a small example like in this example, in this problem. For example, x equal to 0, y equal to 0, x equal to 1, plus, minus 1, and so on. One thing is f1 to 1. It is also useful. For example, in PMO for Philippine Mathematical Olympia 2023, it was useful. In IMO, useful. 
IMO, PMO, and so on. Sometimes we have a complicated term, for example, f of x, for example, plus f of x plus f of x, for example, equal to something, equal, for example, f of x plus f of y and something else. You should do something and you should write two equations to get rid of that complicated term, okay? For example, you don't change x, you only change y and you get rid of complicated term. Uh, another one you can say is f surjective or not. Analyze f of negative x and so on. As I said, there are around 40, 15 important formulas. And with each of them, we can solve IMO. We should solve around 6, 7, 8 problems of IMO in related to functions. And then you can solve any other function problems. They are similar and good. Related a little to combinator is the thing you should replace, you should think. Uh, we can say somehow it's combination of combinatorics and algebra, especially when you work with f of, for example, positive integers to integers, you can create cycles, something like this. We have also graph permutation or permutation graph. Okay, if you want to learn ideas, as I said before, feel free to send message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell and like the video to have next videos. Okay, thanks. See you next time.